with the release of the new 2025 ASUS G14 and G16 laptops featuring 50 series GPUs, prices have hit a premium, and stock has been hard to come by. Depending on where you live, these prices might even go up as inventory restocks. Today, I want to talk about my 2024 base model ASUS G14 4060 with 16 gigs of RAM, which I picked up last year for just $978.77 through Best Buy's open box program. Honestly, getting a laptop with this level of build quality and performance for under $1,000 is a fantastic value proposition. In 2024, ASUS updated the G14 to feature an all-aluminum build, making it thinner and more robust than the 2023 version. ASUS removed the ergo lift hinge from the previous model, and now, at its thinnest point, the G14 is actually slimmer than a 14-inch MacBook Pro. There are a few trade-offs, though. The maximum GPU you could configure at the time was an RTX 4070 or as the 2023 version could go all the way up to a 4090. And the RAM is soldered, so you're locked into whatever you choose at purchase. As for ports, you get a proprietary charging port, an HDMI 2.1 port, a 40 gigabyte USB-C port with charging and display port options, a 10 gigabyte USB-C port, two USB-A 3.2 ports, and a microSD card slot. Within three months of owning this laptop, I swapped out ASUS's Armory Crate software for the much cleaner and more customizable G Helper. That move was a game changer. My temperatures dropped, my fans got quieter while gaming, and overall, the whole system felt snappier. It's a must have for any G14 owner. When I'm not gaming, I set the power mode to Eco and lock the display at 60Hz turning this powerful gaming laptop into a sleek, portable writing and media machine with a surprisingly good battery life. My favorite part of this laptop is the 3K 120Hz OLED display. At 14 inches, that gives you an incredibly sharp pixel density. Everything from text to video looks stunning. While it's not the brightest screen in the world, the deep blacks and vibrant colors more than make up for it. With its 0.01 millisecond response time, it's immersive for both gaming and media consumption. The keyboard is also a pleasure to type on. I really love the tactile feel and the satisfying click of the keys. It's one of my favorite typing experiences on any laptop I've used, including the MacBook. The speakers are also excellent. Really close to what you can get from an Apple laptop. In terms of clarity and sound, for something this compact, it's full, loud, and no distortion. Being a base model, I'm working with 16 gigs of RAM. And if you can find a version with 32 gigs, I'd absolutely recommend it to future-proof your setup. But for my personal use, which is gaming, script writing, and YouTube, 16 gigabytes has been more than enough. That said, I do manage my background apps and have less than five browser tabs open at all times. I'm usually only running OBS or Spotify in the background while gaming. To really get the most out of the system, I keep it plugged and set to standard mode in G Helper. The integrated GPU is solid, but I almost always switch to the discrete 4060 for gaming. Here's a pro tip. Switching to the discrete GPU and disabling the integrated GPU is the only way to enable Nvidia's G-Sync, which gives you smoother gameplay and better latency. This laptop runs a mobile version of the RTX 4060 with a max TDP of 90 watts. At its native 3K resolution, it can struggle in demanding titles, but if you drop the resolution of 1440p or 1080p, you'll see that you'll get smooth frame rates in most modern games on high or even ultra settings. As for the lack of the full SD card reader, it's actually not that big of a deal for me. I don't really use this machine for video editing, it's more of a portable gaming and writing setup. For lighter games, I keep them stored on a microSD card that lives in the laptop 24-7, just like I would on the Steam Deck. As of the making of this video, there are still amazing open box deals for the 4060 version of this laptop in the US. Mine was labeled good and didn't come with the original box, just the laptop and charger. A quick wipe down was all it took to make it feel brand new. And the battle scar on the front panel? That one's on me. To wrap up, 
If you find a 4070 version with 32 gigs of RAM at a price you're happy with, that's the more future-proof option. But if you've been on the fence about picking up a 2024 G14 4060 with 16 gigs of RAM, hopefully this video helps you decide whether the base model is enough for your needs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.